Hey, this is Alvin from Octave, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can fix the Valorant Van 9001 and Van 9003 error. So a lot of new users in Valorant or existing users are currently experiencing this, especially after they update their machine, especially to Windows 11. So let me hop onto my desktop and show you how quickly and easy it is to fix. So right now we are on my desktop and I'm going to be opening a Valorant here just to show you that I actually do have the Van 9003 and Van 9001 error. So actually this error occurs when you don't have TPM or secure boot enabled. As you can see right here in the Van 9003 and then the Van 9001. Now, Alan, how would I know if maybe that's not the culprit? How do I check if I have those two things actually disabled? Well, we can easily head over to our start menu. Search for system information. And from there, you can see the BIOS mode. It should be on UEFI and the secure boot state should be saying on. Now, as you can see, mine shows off. So how do we fix that? Well, we would have to restart our computer and boot up to the BIOS. So right now I'm about to press the start menu and then click on restart now depending on the motherboard of your computer this process should remain pretty much the same with just a little few differences right now i am using a gigabyte eoros motherboard so my bias key is actually delete now depending on your computer it may be f2 f10 f12 delete or combination of something now, if you don't know what your key is, you might want to search up your motherboard on your browser or Google or whatever, and make sure to type in your motherboard name, model, brand, and ask Google, which is the key bind or the key button that you have to mash while it is opening up so you can boot up to the BIOS. Again, for my case, I am using an IORIS one so I can just smash the delete button and I'll boot up to the BIOS. From there, I want you to go into the BIOS BIOS option of your motherboard and then find CSM support. From there, you want to disable CSM support so that you can enable secure boot. As you can see, you would have to restart first before you can actually properly enable the secure boot because your motherboard still thinks that CSM is loaded. So from there, you just want to press OK. You want to go into save and exit and you want to go and press yes. From there, you just want to boot up again on the BIOS so that you can enable. Now we boot up again. We just want to go back to the BIOS, go into secure boot, click on enable, and now go to secure boot mode, press on standard. Lastly, we just want to go into peripherals and find something that is called FTPM. It doesn't matter if it's AMD, Intel, or whatever. Make sure that you enable everything that has TPM on your motherboard. Again, this is all dependent on your own motherboard. So yours might say a different thing, but all is well, just make sure you look for a secure boot and of course the TPM enabling. With that said, I went back to my system information. As you can see, BIOS is UFI, secure boot is now on. Now, if I were to launch Valorant, it should now very much be well behaved with no errors and I can play whatever I want or do anything I want with it. As what you can see right now, I have received no errors and I can literally just play the game now. I can press anything, I can go to play, I can go to practice mode, shooting range, no errors whatsoever. You can now clearly play the game and that is how easy it is to be fixed. Again, just a reminder, you would have to enable the secure boot and the TPM on your BIOS. Again, all of the steps may be a little different depending on the motherboard that you have and the CPU that you have, but everything should pretty much stay the same. And that is about it. Uh, that is the quickest way that you can fix this error. Now, if you do have other Valorant errors, make sure to comment them down in the comment section below so that we can provide you with some help or at least make a new video about those errors and how you can fix them. Now again, don't forget to hit that like button in this video, subscribe, of course, in this YouTube channel. Check us out over at hotdive.com, and I will see you guys in the next Hotdive video.
Have a nice day.